Thank you, Colony. Um, this is the third time we have debated mental health issues in this um, House, and I fully support the motion, not necessarily because of the wording of the motion, because it seeks to put pressure on the government to do what they should do, which is review the vision for change. And the vision for change, as pointed out, was introduced in 2006, and I have to say that was after 1984, when planning for the future was the document that wasn't acted on. And so 20-something years later, in 2006, we brought in vision for change. And such was the concern concern of various bodies at the time that the government rightly responded and built into that vision an implementation body to ensure that the vision for change would be implemented. And that implementation body set between 2006 and 2009 and again 2009 to 12. And the comment of that implementation body and of the Mental Health Commission has repeatedly, their comments if I put them in a nutshell, they have repeatedly pointed out that the implementation of vision for change has been slow and inconsistent. So there's absolutely no need to reinvent the wheel, and that, paid, that report, the vision for change, 282 pages of Kiancorla, and it is the most comprehensive document. It sets out precisely what was required and what is still required. And indeed, amongst the many recommendations it includes, and I just mentioned six, psychological and social therapies, primary care and community mental health teams in modern buildings, adult education, mental health promotion programmes, adequate and affordable housing, given the interconnection between housing and mental health, and formal recognition and support through practical means of the crucial role of family care and carers in in the mental health service provision. It is all here in the 282 pages. The implementation body set for two periods and pointed out it wasn't been implemented. The Commission, the Mental Health Commission pointed out it wasn't been implemented. And we're still waiting for the promised review when this um, vision for change ran out in January 06. I repeat again, there's absolutely no need to reinvent the wheel. There is a need to set up immediately an implementation body and there is an absolute urgency to bring the review before us so that we can see that this is implemented. I come from a city which has just got the capital of culture for 2020 on the one hand. We have suicide patrols on our streets. That is the level that this has reached. I don't need to preach to you, Minister. I know you're fully aware. But repeating anecdotes and talking about the difficulties on the ground lets the system off the hook. We want a new vision for change. We want it implemented and we need an implementation body.